shine, my mothers and my brothers and my cheese wedges and my handlebars. Rise and shine. Let the prosperity grow and let it flow. A lot of parallels there, right? Hey, quick question for you that are coaches and consultants. We like to brag about our success stories. We like to talk about the people that have gone on, used our advice, used our products and so forth, and have done well. What about those clients or students that you have had that haven't succeeded, that haven't reached their goals? Can you comment on why they didn't? Did you ever purchase a internet wealth program that teaches you something, some online course, and it didn't deliver what you originally wanted it to do? You didn't make your 100000 a month or, you know, whatever many online courses might be talking about. If you didn't have success in with an online course, tell me why you didn't have success. And don't tell me because it was a ripoff, don't tell me because you got misled. If that's the case, if that's truly the case, talk about it down below, let me know. But for the most part, if it has to do with your responsibility, which I'm teaching people to take full responsibility for all of their outcomes. Why didn't it succeed? So two questions for two types of people. First question is for coaches and consultants. For the clients that you have that did not reach the goal that you originally set out for them, that you agreed on, why didn't they? What have you observed over the years of those that don't reach their goals? I would love to hear that down below. As the concept of extreme ownership is gaining traction, I basically have been talking about this forever, taking full responsibility for yourself. I know Jocko Willink put the phrase extreme ownership on that. And that's a great phrase. I love using that phrase, extreme ownership. Although I did not coin the phrase, I've always said, learn to take full responsibility for all the outcomes. It's no one's fault but your own. When people have failed or not reached the metrics, tell me why they didn't. In your observation over a long period of time, why haven't people succeeded and your answers down below are going to teach others because if you have tried things and have failed I want you to read what coaches and consultants have said if you purchased an online course and you didn't achieve the desired results tell your story down below for those that might be you know, on the fence about purchasing an online course or a newsletter or making some kind of significant investment in themselves and they're not sure where the pitfalls are, share those pitfalls down below. I am on my way to the salon. It's early on Saturday morning. I'm at Allura Salon. Look at the information down below. I'll put the uh, phone number for the salon. There actually is a receptionist. So, I'm not answering my own phone, thank God. There's times when I've, I found I had messages from like a month ago. And uh, I apologize to those that I didn't get back to. It certainly is not on purpose. It was just pure, because I'm taking full ownership. It was just pure neglect. That's all it was, it, and it's certainly not personal. Have a great day, everybody. And take full ownership, full responsibility of every outcome in your life.
talk to you soon. Thanks.